G'day and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're going to have a look at the basics of equivalent fractions. So what are equivalent fractions? Well, these are fractions that are the same size or value, but they use different numbers in the numerator and denominator. So that is the top and bottom parts of the fraction. So we'll start off with a rectangle and we'll cut it into 15 pieces and we'll shade in 9 of them. So that, as a fraction, is represented by 9 over 15. So we have shaded in 9 out of those 15 pieces to get that fraction. Instead of cutting it into 15 pieces, what we'll now do is just cut it into 5 pieces. So you'll notice we haven't changed anything except the number of pieces it's cut into. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pieces, and we have 3 of them coloured in. So that now is represented by the 3 fifths, or 3 out of the 5. And these are equivalent fractions, so the 9 fifteenths and the 3 fifths are exactly the same, they just look different when we cut them up. So there's our 9 fifteenths and our 3 fifths. Okay, so let's try another example. So we've got a square here and we'll cut it up into four pieces and we'll shade in one of them. So that, as a fraction, is represented by 1 out of the 4. But instead of cutting it into 4 pieces, we'll now cut it up into 16 pieces. What we've got shaded still hasn't changed, nor has the original shape. But we can now see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4 out of the 16 that are coloured in. The shape hasn't changed, so these are equivalent fractions. So 1 quarter and 4 sixteenths are equivalent. So we did that with showing diagrams, but quite often we're going to try and have to do these without diagrams. So how can we find equivalent fractions without having to use diagrams? Well, let's take that first fraction of 9 fifteenths. And we know from the previous work that we just did that it was the same as 3 fifths. But how can I get 9 fifteenths into 3 fifths? Well, what we can do is divide the numerator by 3, and the denominator by 3, so 9 divided by 3 gives us 3, and 15 divided by 3 gives us 5. So that's one way of being able to do that and find an equivalent fraction. We also had 1 quarter, and we know that it was the same as 4 sixteenths. So how can we get 1 quarter to 4 sixteenths? So we just multiply the numerator by 4 and the denominator by 4, so 1 times 4 is 4, and 4, 4 is a 16. So for equivalent fractions, to be able to find them, you either divide both the numerator and denominator by the same number, or you can multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same number. What we can't do is we can't add or subtract the same number with the numerator and denominator to give us an equivalent fraction. That doesn't work. So, let's do some examples. Let's find an equivalent fraction to each of the following fractions. So, two-thirds. Well, what we can do is just find a number that we multiply by. In this case, I'm going to multiply the numerator by 9. But I have to also multiply the denominator by that same number. So, 2 times 9 is 18, and 3 9s are 27. So, I get 18 over 27. You can multiply by different numbers to get equivalent fractions. I just chose 9 in this example. Here's another one, 24 over 32. So 24 out of 32, I can make it an equivalent fraction by, in this case, I'm going to divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. And 24 divided by 2, or a half of 24, is 12. And 32 divided by 2 is 16. So these were just two examples of by multiplying the numerator and denominator by a number to get an equivalent fraction or dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number to get a fraction, equivalent fraction. So here's another example. Let's complete the equivalent fractions by filling in the missing number. This is quite often um, examples that are used to help us and test us. So I've got two fifths and I want to find out if I have the shape, instead of cutting it into 5 pieces and having 2 of them coloured in, I'm going to cut it into 20 pieces, um, how many would I have coloured in. 
So the way to do these is have a look at how we would change the 5 to a 20. In this case, we'd have to go 5 times 4 is 20. And remember, for our equivalent fractions, we've got to do the same to the numerator as we do to the denominator. So that means we now have to multiply that numerator by 4 as well. And 2 4s are 8. So 2 fifths is the same as 8 twentieths. Another example, um, we'll have a look at 7 out of 8. So if we cut a piece of um, or a shape into 8 pieces and we've got 7 of them coloured in, um, we're going to have a look at what would happen if there were 35 of them coloured in um, what, or how many pieces there would be. So again, we have a look at how we change the numerator in this case because we've got the, the other numerator there. So 7 times 5 there gives us 35. And then we've got to do the same to the denominator. So we've got to multiply the denominator by 5 and 8 fives are 40. So there's two examples. One where the um, denominator was already given to us. And here is an example of one when the numerator was given to us. And we'll have a look at one more example. Um, in this case, 8 over 32. Um, we notice that the denominator is actually getting smaller, so this indicates that we're going to divide. So 32 divided by 8 gives us 4. Um, and if you're not sure how to do that, you can actually go 32 divided by 4, and that will tell you what that should be there. So 32 divided by 4 is 8, so we're doing 32 divided by 8 gives us 4. We have to do the same with the numerator because they are equivalent fractions and 8 divided by 8 is 1 quarter. Right, one more example. Um, we've got 120 over 150. Um, again, this time I've given you the numerator, so what do we do with 120 to get 4? Um, again, as I said, to find that number there, if you actually do 120 divided by 4, we get 30, so we're dividing by 30 have to do the same with the denominator and how many 30s in 150 there ends up being five so they are some basic examples of equivalent fractions and what you now need to do is go and practice and practice again and practice some more and the more you practice the easier it's going to become and thanks for watching one of my videos